body it's Bella fairies here um this is lesson two in the newbie to newbie witch um the most important stones or crystals i believe a newbie witch should invest in i'm going to probably name only five um crystals and stones i feel like it's very important to begin with you can do this one at a time buy them all five if you want they are very inexpensive especially at a metaphysical shop where they kind of up the price you know to make up for you know um to keep up the competitors but here's my setup okay number one first and foremost the witch's crystal amethyst all right, this is just amethyst cluster used for meditation. You can use for um, any ailments like uh, you can keep it, rub it around if you have like um, a tumble piece. Some of you might have arthritis. Um, it can be used for protection. It can be used uh, for so many different things. I encourage you to get the Crystal Bible and check that out. Okay. Um, and when I'm done showing them, I will get the Crystal Bible out, actually. And I'll just go through and read a few on the five that I say, you know, or my opinion that a newbie witch should have in her, in her crystal, uh, chest. All right. The second one is citrine. Also another one good for protection. I, I find that I associate it with, um, prosperity, especially in finances, um, it works very well for me. Um, like I said, I also use the protection. Um, I also um, can uh, I use it for you know uh, the God aspect um, because it reminds me of the sun. Another one that I feel like you should have is Tiger's Eye protection. Um, it's really good for self worth. It's good for your sacral chakra. Um, I. I I do associate this with the sun god as well. Very, very good as far as adding protection to anything that you are doing and grounding. Okay, uh, and you know, like a tiger, a tiger protects, you know, a tiger's eye, it can see everything, help you see things. Just my opinion. Okay, the third one would be a rose quartz. Rose quartz is great, of course, for love, self love, love with a partner. Um, it can also be for friendship. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. And the last one I would have to say would be, be a clear quartz. It amplifies anything, any workings that you are trying to do. Um, you can carry it, on, carry it on you just to help amplify your energy. But beware, if you wear it and you are frustrated, it will amplify that frustrated energy. So, um, like I made this and this is something I, I wear when I'm... I'm doing tarot okay learning actually learning tarot I don't read tarot for anybody just yet so those five I will go over in the crystal Bible in just a minute and let you know what this says in the crystal Bible but there are a few other things that I feel like if you can't afford to buy these other few items it would be worth the wait I mean worth the money a selenite point um, tower um, this is also selenite this is um, I believe desert Desert Rose says selenite. Um, it's just so gorgeous. That was the first piece of selenite I bought. The energy when I picked it up was so cool and calming. I keep it by my front door. This goes in the corner of my house. Um, it just, it never has to be cleansed. It never has to be charged. It constantly is doing that. And any crystals you place near it, most of them will be charged and cleansed just by sitting near it okay another one i wanted to show you if you um love the earth if you are a druid you love tree energy this petrified wood is absolutely <laughs> so divine when you hold it it is just grounding and it connects you with that celtic side like i love the celtic side of my of my um lineage it just really connects me to that part i've burned a cone and sit on top of it and i'm always so mad i did that i thought it would be okay but obviously not okay i also wanted to show you a moonstone um of course goddess energy moonstone is famous for being the, the stone of the goddess let me see if i can 
Um, it's just beautiful. It has little black specks. And there's so many different varieties of all these stones. They do not all look the same. So you might see a moonstone and hey, that's not the moonstone I saw in that video. That doesn't mean it's not it. That's why I really encourage you to go back to my first lesson video. You see the crystal Bible. Please invest the money if you're going to be a crystal witch or um, be in Reiki healing. You find yourself drawn to crystals. That book will be invaluable to you. And another one um, is fluorite. And this is a piece of green fluorite that I have. It's raw. It's not tumbled. Very good for throat and heart. Sh actually, not throat. Heart chakras. Um, if you're not feeling well, carry a piece of this on you. Just a really, it has a really good feeling. It's just a good starting stone that's very inexpensive. And I just wanted to show you. Um, this is blue lace agate. Um, this is a um one i am a labor my sun sign and this is one of my power stones so to speak along with lapsy sluices i have a pendulum that has a lapsy sluices on it but i don't really want to show my pendulum right now i have it charging in a special place along with my chrysocolla i'm doing some work with that right now um if you would like to see that i will show that in another video but i really thought this is beautiful i just wish the Oh, I hate it being so bright with the flash, but the lighting in here is really bad. It's just really beautiful. If you can see, it has some gold streaks going through it. Um, and let's see. I wanted to show you this tree my husband bought me. I have my incense stick holding it. It has clear quartz with copper, and it has a rose quartz base with some clear quartz little tumble pieces on top of it. I love it. I keep that on my altar at all times. And this is just a little piece of, is it Malachite? I believe this is, is very, very excellent for protection for the children. I keep my son's two, my, a couple of my children's teeth that they've lost, or baby teeth, in this little shot glass that my brother has given me from Germany. It's very special with a few other pieces in it. Oh, um, you know, just a little thing I like, I wanted to show you. Uh, let's see. Oh, black tourmaline. I have some chips right here of some black tourmaline. I like to put some pieces. I actually like to crush up these itty bitty pieces, put it in my black salt, which I will be making a video of. Excellent, excellent, excellent for dispelling and reflecting negative energy that is um, headed towards you, that someone has put on you. If you just feel like there's something on your back, someone is just trying to get at you. Put a piece of this in your bra with a little mirror. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But I wanted to show you some of the best stones and crystals you can find. You cannot buy at a shop. You will find from Mother Nature. She gives us the best gifts. Okay, I got some bags in here. Let me get these out. Okay. Okay, see like this one? But at first it looked like a bone. But if you just hold this, the coolness, the energy I get from this, I use this um, when I am working with the God energy. It is just amazing. Um, this is my all-time favorite um, that I have that's been found from the ground. My husband, if you've watched my other videos, you know this already, found this at work on the ground. And look at that. How many thousands of years did it take for that hole to be created? I mean, it is smooth, too. I mean, and it, it, I call this my crone stone. This stone represents the goddess to me as it's on her side of my altar. And I, I even have wax on it. I use it all the time. This is another piece my husband said he got. He said it felt really good. He just wanted to give it to me. Um, it reminds me of like a like a little broken eggshell. I thought maybe using it for some kind of protection, um, or I can put something in it, hold something in it. We'll see. This is another piece. Um, I believe this is one of my altar videos. It's like a womb, you know. Like if you see the statue, I don't know if you can see if without the light, if you see that little indentation in there. Oh, this light but your thumb can sit in it. It just reminds me of that statue of the goddess where her hands come up underneath her belly, but it has the circle where you can see her womb in it. Goddess energy all the way with this. Okay. Okay, and this is a piece of, I believe it's, I can't, I don't know the name of it. 
if I can find it again. Uh-oh, I'm dropping things. All my videos I drop things, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, my son gave this to me. He found it he, um, at the flea market. You can buy it. They have, like, this big setup with crystals and stones. And you can, you know, kind of um, dredge for crystals and stones. Angelite. It's like the angelite kind of crystal. I don't know the exact term for it. Let's see. There you go. It's blue and purple. It's gorgeous. But that didn't come from the ground. But that was in there. This is awesome. It reminds me of a piece of coal. You found it out there whenever you found the crone stone. I use this um, for protection. When I'm doing any kind of protection work, I have this sitting next to my black candle. This is just a stone my son found for me outside. He's like, yeah, it feels really good. You know because he knows I love it and he got this for me so just has special meaning and so I use that when it comes to anything to do with my kids same as this one this one as well like it stands up see how it stands up I haven't found a use for it yet but I know I, I've hold on to it again this is something my husband because he said it looked like half a heart, you know, so maybe he was thinking, you know, I'm his other half, so you never know. And I believe that's all I have in this. So yeah, you know, you don't have to spend a bunch of money to have stones. I mean, because these are all about the intention you've put into this. This is, has mother energy, I and mean, you just need to hold it in between your hands. You hold it and just sit there and be quiet and just feel the energy. You'll feel a rush. Or a light ebb. I mean, you'll know it when you feel it. Whatever it feels like to you is what's right for you. There is no wrong way when it comes to um, picking up something from outside that Mother Nature has gifted you. So don't turn it away because that is a gift from the God and the Goddess, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's what I want to show you this lesson, too. Um, let me get the crystal book and we're going to go over the five the five um ones that i said were the best okay <laughs> sorry okay crystal bible i wonder if i can turn this flash off let's see um let's see here all right that's blue lace agate Alright, amethyst, which is one I said. It's gonna be it can be purple to lavender. I'm sorry guys, you can't see with the flash on. I am going to cut this video short and I'm gonna come back with the meanings of the five uh, stones. I'm gonna turn the flash off and get right back to you. See you in just a few. Many blessings.